very special here. We're trying to get as many people in this picture as we can. Ready? Everybody smile. Hey. One, two, three. Hey! kicking off a holiday weekend. It's wrapping up our summer season, but Labor Day weekend is this weekend, and a lot of people might be looking for things to do. And as always on a Friday, our go-to movie guy, Kevin McCarthy, he's got you when it comes to what to watch. Let me sneak on through here and come on here with Kevin. Wait, wait, is it, was it your birthday today? What? Oh, wait, my I wanted goodness. To take a look at his shirt. That's awesome, by the way. How old are well, you? Four. You're four? Oh my goodness. Are you, are you a big fan? Are you, you, love, you love movies and everything? <laughs> right. well, nice to meet this. you. Happy birthday. the cutest person we put on TV so far this yes. morning. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look. He's like, happy I'm birthday. up and I'm out. What was his name? Israel. 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 Happy birthday, happy Israel. birthday, Israel. All right. So I was saying, as I was making my yeah. way up here from our amazing crowd, yeah. that as always, you have the what to watch this weekend because it's a holiday weekend. Yeah. A lot of people might be looking for things to do. And lots of streaming options as well. We'll start off theatrically first with Hong for Jesus. This uh, Save Your Soul, which is a new film produced by Daniel Kaluuya and Jordan Peele. It takes place in, like, in this idea of a satirical look at mega churches. Okay. Think of Joel Olstein, essentially, yeah, in, right. in the idea of a mega church. And in the movie, Re Regina Hall, as well as Sterling K. Brown, they are a couple who are married. He's the pastor, she's the first lady. They have a scandal, it shuts the church down, and they're making a documentary in the movie to rebuild their brand. Okay. Um, so it's kind of like a mockumentary in a sense of that, of that sort of like spinal tap, if you want to mm -hmm. think about that, or the author. Office, the way it's shot with the with the documentary style, but I did talk to Regina Hall as well as Sterling K. Brown all about the film. There's a great moment in the film where they are rapping along with a crime mob song called "Knuck If You Buck," which is a great track. Uh, and I wanted to ask them what songs help them relieve stress and more. Here's Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall from D.C. By the way. All right, hey, what up, Kev? It's so great to talk to both of you. I'm uh, Kevin McCarthy from Washington, D.C. You know I remember you from D.C. The crime mob scene was so great. <laughs> in the whole film. And it's kind of a release for the characters in that moment. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you, is there a song that does that for you? So it's interesting, me and my son, my son plays soccer. And before we go to a game, I was like, it's time to get hype. We're about 15 minutes away. What do Ooh, you his amp to? song. His amp song. He loves Middle Child, J. Cole. Mm -hmm. He loves This Is America. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Childish Gambino. Mm -hmm. Um, nice. he, he has a couple of other... Summertime. That, that Childish Gambino song, Summertime, for me. You know, one thing that I found interesting about this movie is the perception of somebody versus the reality of who they are. Do you feel like you have to live up to a certain perception of who you are based on who you've played? But for the past six years, I've played a character. I think people think that I am that person. And that's not a bad person to think that I am, because he's a good person. But I'm not him. I wish... It. I don't actually wish that I was him. I love him and appreciate him, but I'm my own person. But people think that you're, that you're Randall sometimes. Well, I just posted a clip of Kevin and myself and Mark Wahlberg, where Kevin said that I have false teeth. And people are wondering, are my teeth false? So I'm going to take this moment to let you're people know <laughs> these are my real teeth. Sterling knows we had weeks together. They don't come out. My teeth don't come out. My teeth are real. Yeah. As are mine. My yeah. teeth are real. My, Your teeth real? Mine are real too. <laughs> Regina Hall wanted to set that record straight. That video is on her Instagram or Kevin Hart's Instagram if you want to see it. Hong for Jesus, Save Your Soul is in theaters today. Okay, in theaters today. Yeah. Next, this is like a throwback. We've Huge. only got a minute and a half left, so let's get them in. So excited. So Jaws is actually coming out in IMAX this weekend for the first time. I've never seen it in theaters. One of the greatest movies of all time. Steven Spielberg, 1975. But you can actually see it in theaters this weekend in IMAX. I'm 100% going. It's about one week only. Um, in 1975, probably arguably the start of the summer blockbuster, the biggest summer blockbuster of all time. Uh, but that's out this weekend in IMAX. And it kept a generation of people out of the water. Still does. Right? I probably won't see it because I'll never go back to right. the <laughs> I finally worked through yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to yeah, decades go back later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about Spider-Man. Yeah, so if you're a Spider-Man No Way Home fan, they're re-releasing that film in theaters this weekend with an 11 minutes of additional footage. So if you love that movie, that was the movie that brought together obviously uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire as well as uh, Tom Holland, all three Spider-Men together. Um, that movie's back in theaters again, some additional footage, but you can check it out this weekend. All right, and last but not least, and Lord of the Rings, Lord the streaming. The yeah, this is a streaming option this weekend. So Lord of the Rings the Rings of Power. This is the show taking place in a 
prequel sense thousands of years before The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Um, it is uh, on Amazon Prime Video. I believe the most expensive TV series ever created, I believe. Wow. Uh, and it's available now, two episodes on Amazon Prime Video. And I read a story the other day that Jeff Bezos, his son, was like, please don't mess up Lord of the Rings. <laughs> um, so I'm excited for people to see it. It's out today. And I do want to mention one more quick thing. Uh, I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar fan, and uh, he put out a short film yesterday called We Cry Together. It's a track off his new album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, uh, and it features him and Taylor Page. She's an amazing actress, but it's a short six-minute movie that came out yesterday. It's very intense, very uncomfortable. It's meant to be. It's okay. all in one shot, yep. and there is it's all live. So it's available on his YouTube, Kendrick Lamar's YouTube or his Twitter or Instagram. Make sure you watch the uncensored version, but do not watch it around anybody else. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very not safe for I work. Mean, not safe for work, not safe for but kids. It, but all it right. does qualify for the Academy Award, so Kendrick could win for live action short at the Oscars next year. Love it, year. love it. Now you see why he's our go-to movie guy.